Space elevators, a bold new frontier in space exploration. Back in the 1960s, as humanity embarked on its journey into space, launching payloads into space came at an astronomical cost. But a revolution is underway. SpaceX's reusable rockets are changing the game, making space more accessible than ever. However, there's an even more intriguing idea on the horizon. Space elevators. Yes, you heard that right. The prospect of space elevators offers a glimpse into a more accessible and affordable future for all. Researchers and scientists all over the world are working to bring this concept into reality. But how could these seemingly outlandish contraptions offer a more affordable route to space? And who came up with this amusing idea? Join us on this incredible journey through the history and future of space travel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay with us as we unravel the mysteries, innovations and audacious dreams that make space elevators a captivating reality. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of what's possible and opens doors to limitless potential. So buckle up because the sky is no longer the limit, it's just the beginning. The birth of the space elevator concept. The idea of a space elevator has a long history spanning more than a century. The earliest traces of this concept can be traced back to 1895, when Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky put forward the notion of a towering structure, often referred to as the Tsiolkovsky Tower, extending from Earth's surface to the geostationary orbit. He drew inspiration from the iconic Eiffel Tower in Paris and envisioned a towering structure that could ascend to an astonishing height of 35,790 kilometers above sea level. Over the years, other visionaries and engineers further refined this idea. In 1960, Yuri Artsutanov proposed a design based on a cable system. Then in 1975, Jerome Pearson introduced a design featuring a counterweight in space to maintain cable tension. However, it was Bradley Edwards who made substantial strides in advancing the space elevator concept. In 2000, he published the results of a six-month study that revealed the feasibility of a space elevator using existing materials and technology. Edwards' innovative design hinged on the use of carbon nanotubes, remarkable for their strength and lightness. These nanotubes would form a ribbon connecting a platform on Earth's surface to a counterweight in geostationary orbit. The ribbon would be anchored to the Earth at the equator and kept taut by the centrifugal force generated by our planet's rotation. This breakthrough represented a significant leap forward in the pursuit of this audacious space elevator vision. There are more promising designs in the field. While carbon nanotubes have held the spotlight as the primary tether material, alternative options are emerging. One intriguing candidate is graphene, a two-dimensional carbon structure that boasts scalability advantages over nanotubes, though making it at a large scale is still a challenge. In a contrasting perspective to Bradley Edwards' report, researchers from Johns Hopkins University, Sean Sun and Dan Popescu, propose an unconventional yet intriguing solution, Kevlar fibers. Their idea hinges on constant tether repair, similar to how our bodies mend tendons. By utilizing sensors and AI software, they suggest that we could model the entire tether mathematically to predict when and where fibers might break. When this happens, Swift robotic climbers patrolling the tether will step in to replace and repair the damaged sections, adapting their maintenance pace in a manner reminiscent of biological processes. Astronomers from the University of Cambridge and Columbia University take a unique approach, envisioning a concept known as the space line. In this scenario, a tether attached to the Moon's surface would extend toward Earth's geostationary orbit, kept taut by our planet's gravitational force. Rockets would then be used to transport payloads and potentially people to solar-powered climber robots stationed at the end of this colossal 200,000 plus mile long. These robotic climbers would then make their way up the line to reach the moon's surface. While the concept of a lunar space elevator wouldn't replace the need for rockets to reach Earth's orbit, it presents a cost-effective approach to lunar travel. The researchers behind this idea highlight that the forces acting on a lunar space elevator would be considerably less intense compared to one extending from Earth's surface. This reduced stress on the tether opens up a wider range of material options, potentially making it feasible to use fibers that are already mass-produced and relatively affordable. In a separate development, Chinese researchers are actively pursuing the use of carbon nanotubes for the space elevator. 
In 2018, a team from Tsinghua University announced the development of nanotubes they claim are strong enough for tether applications. While scaling up production remains a challenge, there's ongoing interest in this material. If successfully executed, though it's a monumental undertaking, China anticipates that this could slash the cost of sending people and cargo to the moon by a staggering 96%. These groundbreaking concepts and endeavors are reshaping the way we think about space travel, offering the potential for more affordable and accessible lunar exploration in the future. But why do people believe this can work? A lot of researchers believe in the feasibility of space elevators due to several key developments and studies that have taken place over the years. This has contributed to the optimism surrounding this concept. In 2008, Shuichi Ono, chairman of the Japan Space Elevator Association, introduced a space elevator plan with a cost estimate of approximately 1 trillion yen or $8 billion. Did you know that there was even a space elevator association in Japan? As odd as it sounds, it is a real government agency. Although some considered the $8 billion estimate to be quite low, it indicated that the concept was being taken seriously and was within the realm of financial possibility. In 2013, the International Academy of Astronautics conducted a four-year study to assess the technological feasibility of space elevators. Their research identified that the critical improvement needed was in the tether material's strength. The study projected that, given ongoing technological advancements, we could achieve the necessary specific material strength within two decades. Japan's Shizuoka University furthered the cause in 2018 by launching the STARS-ME space elevator experiment. This initiative involved launching two CubeSats interconnected by a tether into space. One of the CubeSats featured a mini elevator that traveled from one CubeSat to the other via a tether. This experiment provided valuable data for the development of larger space elevator structures. Then, in 2019, the International Academy of Astronautics published Road to the Space Elevator Era, a comprehensive study created in collaboration with a substantial group of space professionals. The study not only suggested the feasibility of space elevators, but also indicated that this concept might be closer to realization than previously thought. As we explore these fascinating space elevators, it's clear that this concept has come a long way from its inception in the imaginations of visionaries like Konstantin Solovsky. With remarkable developments, studies and experiments pushing the boundaries of what's possible, the dream of a space elevator becoming a reality seems more attainable than ever. So what do you think? Are we on the cusp of a new era in space travel? One that could drastically reduce costs and open up the cosmos to a broader range of explorers? Or is this just a never-ending pursuit? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. Until next time, let's keep reaching for the stars.